Hey, and you are watching Totally Beads on Facebook and on YouTube. So how are you doing? It's um, quite a bright but a little bit windy here today. It is uh, finally the weekend. So I hope you've all had a really, really lovely, lovely week. I'm going to be making with you today some lovely pendants. Um, you can do all sorts with them. They're very, very versatile. I'm wearing one here. So I've called it the Abacus Pendant. Um, it's a bit like an abacus to me in terms of the seed beads that we're using, the pearls, um, some jump rings, some head pins, all you're going to need. You're going to get absolutely all sorts in your kit today. Um, and I think you can make up, well, you can make up quite a few of these. So as I say, they're really versatile. You can use them to attach to bracelets if you wish. You probably have plenty left over for some matching earrings, but you can do an awful lot with these pendants and they're very easy and straightforward to do. So how are you all today? Good morning to Rachel. She says, good morning, everybody. A tad overcast and breezy, but okay in South Yorkshire. So let me know what the weather is like for you, wherever you're watching from. Good morning to Hannah and good morning to Jitty. Jitty says, hi, Natalie and everybody. Um, we've got a lovely little smiley face off Hannah there too. Um, so good morning to you all. So I'm going to take you over to the website shortly. Uh, I'm going to let you um, come in and have a little look. I'll probably show you them down on the mat. As I say, I'm going to show you how versatile they are and all the different things that you can do with them. They're really sweet looking. Um, good morning to uh, Lucy. She says, good morning, everybody. Good morning to... Caroline, she says, morning, Natalie, and our beading family. Sunny but cool wind today here in Brixham. Good morning to Jackie. Good morning to Edward. Good morning to Anne. Good morning to Judith. Good morning to Angela. So we've got a lot of you coming in today. Good morning to Elaine. So have you had a nice week? Was it a short week? Did you get your bank holiday last week? Um, it was my wedding anniversary yesterday. Um, me and my husband have been married for nine years together 20 um so we didn't really do anything yesterday i made so i tried to make us a meal when um he'd come home from work i was making us pasta i put the pan lid on and as i went to drain um the water out the pan the lid slipped and i just lost the whole thing down the kitchen sink so we had a very romantic ready meal last night for tea um, but we are going to be going out on Saturday we're staying over in a castle we've not had a night child free for such a long time so I'm very very excited about that we're going to have dinner and stay over um we'll probably watch tv and we'll probably be asleep by about nine o'clock and we'll have a lovely lovely rest not getting woken up in the middle of the night by our small boy um Marcia says she's so tired today it's dark and rainy here in New York Good morning, everyone. Good morning to you, Marcy. Marcia, I hope um, the sun comes out for you a little bit and you perk up a little bit. Get yourself a coffee. Good morning to Angela. She says, if I uh, fall asleep, just leave me. Been up since 3 a.m. I'll rewatch later. What have you been doing? I hope you, um, yeah, go Go to bed, catch us later. Good morning to Rachel. She says, happy anniversary to you and your husband, Natalie. Thank you very much, Rachel. Um, Marcia says the same. She woke up at 3 a.m. and couldn't get back to sleep. What, what's gone on? Is it, it's like witching hour or something? You're all awake at 3 a.m. Uh, Diane is asking which castle you're going to at the weekend. I'm going to go to Peck Forton, um, which is Tarpaulin, I think, if I've got that right. Um, we've been We've been a few times. We've not been for absolutely years, but we did used to go... Um, my husband's work do so yeah it's going to bring back some memories of courtship uh, lucy says 20 years why you don't look much older than 20 oh lucy why thank you yeah no i've been with him um since i was a baby since i was like 16 so we've been together longer than we've been without each other um talk about a life sentence but no we're very happy which is lovely um it's a bit soppy now isn't it good morning to nicole she says hi natalie and everyone early i am here in oregon and lots of rain today quite different from uh, one day of snow that we got last week um jitty's wishing me a happy anniversary thank you very much elaine says uh, she's been up since half two she started work at half three and just finished at half eight elaine you must be so tired um get yourself a blanket can you go back to bed have you 
you've been working, that's technically working nights, isn't it? You can, uh, surely you can go back to sleep. Um, Celia is watching in silence as she's on call at work. So I hope your shift goes well, Celia. And Angela um, says, she was called up by a gent and couldn't get back to sleep. Bless you all. You all seem very sleepy this morning. I feel quite bright eyed and bushy tailed, so hopefully I'll pick you up a little bit. Right, before I take you over to the website, I'm gonna show you very quickly down on the mat. So we are doing these today. I've called them abacus abacus pendants. I've called them it, but I can't pronounce it this morning. Um, just because they just give a really kind of sweet little look, really easy to do on some eye pins and head pins. Um, but they are so versatile. So you can play around with them to make different shapes. As I say, the one that I'm wearing here, I will um, take you back up. I've just done the design that we're going to be doing. I've just flipped it. So it's vertically rather than horizontally. And I've added a little bit of chain and some tassels at the end of it. So you can make quite large statement pieces with them. Um, they're very straightforward to do, really easy to do. And I'd love to see um, what designs you come up with. There are lots of different colours. You're going to get uh, three colourways in terms of your head pins and your eye pins, your findings. Um, we're not including the chain. We think you could, you know, you might have chain already. You can add these to whatever you like. As I say, you could even put them as a focal point on a bracelet if you wanted as well. Um, Elaine is fine and wide awake. It's my usual working day, so you're used to it, Elaine. Good morning to Pamela um, and good morning to everybody who's here. Lucy is saying these look really nice. Brenda says, I made it. Morning, everyone. Good morning, Brenda. And Jane says she loves these. Right, let me take you over to the website then and I'll show you absolutely all sorts that you are getting in your kit today. So, you know the drill, as Kitty would say. We're going on totallybeads.co.uk. You can click in the categories at the top and you can scroll down to video tutorials or you can click on this lovely large logo at the top of the page. So, the Abacus Necklace. Here they are. Look at all the colours. You can make up all of these colours that I'm going to show you today and every single thing in your kit. Um, to make all of these pendants and it makes six now I do think you'll probably have more left over so it does depend on the design that you use in terms of how many of the pearls that you're using um, you always get loads and loads of seed beads so let me show you what's in there so the bundle which will make six necklaces contains your glass pearl round beads which are eight millimeters and you're getting them in three different colors so you're going to get 10 pieces of each color i tend to use four you can see i've used um, an extra one here but usually i think the design that I was going for, I'm only using four of the glass pearl round beads there. You're also getting your Toho glass seed beads in size 11 and you get three different colours of that. So that's going to be nine grams of your beautiful Toho seed beads. You're getting your head pins in silver, rhodium and champagne. And you're getting your eye pins in silver, rhodium and champagne. And if that wasn't enough, you're also going to get some gorgeous metallic round beads, which are two millimetres in size. They're also going to be in your silver, rhodium and champagne colours. So I've used those lovely little um, round beads, the two millimetre ones, to act as a little spacer and also to just space out the um, little pins that we're using to make that frame. So as you can see, you're getting loads in your kit and it is just £4.50. So it should have been £6. It's £4.50 and you're going to be able to make up at least six. So that's an absolute bargain. I'm not great at maths, but it works out as an absolute bargain for each one. So I've made them into pendants. I've done that because I've been using the um, head pins just to come along down these parts here but if you wanted you can use your eye pins and you can make them into double connectors and you can do like the one that i'm wearing you can add some more little tassels onto the end of it you can make it as a double connector so you could wear that as a bracelet it is entirely up to you 
I can say I can't wait to see the designs that you come up with. So four pounds fifty today, and it will make you six in total. And you're going to be able to do three colorways, and you can mix them colorways up as well if you like. So stop sharing screen. Uh, Lucy says it is a fab bargain. I agree with you, Lucy. Sharon says good morning, creative beadineers. Uh, Jane is loving them. And Lucy has kindly shared the link for you today. So uh, Facebook tutorials forward slash abacus necklace. Right, shall we get going? I'm probably just going to have a little play around today. As I say, sometimes when I'm putting these together, I've thought, oh, I could do it like this or I could do it like that. Um, it's just an opportunity to be creative. And you're using really simple, basic jewellery techniques of just turning a loop to make a double connector where you need to. Um, Francis says, good morning, everyone, uh, uh, from a lovely sunny Perth. Well, I say it's nice and bright here. It is a little bit windy, though. So I'm going to take you back down onto the mat. So as I say, you can do, I'll take this one off as well, so I'll show you. You can do all sorts with these. You're getting loads of different colours. So you've got a beautiful kind of blue colourway, you've got lilac and kind of silvery white pearl colourway, you've got a gorgeous rose pink. I say so you're not getting your chains in this, but you can add chain to them if you want. I just popped them on the chain just to show you what they look like. So you, can you see why I've called them abacus? So they're very, very straightforward to do. This is exactly the same in terms of materials, just changed it round a little bit. And I was playing around really with the chain in terms of having that as part of the pendant too. And if I can take this one off. I've done exactly the same. I've just changed up in terms of adding in those little silver spaces amongst my seed beads and I've just dangled them off the top. So it makes quite a large statement piece, um, but it also, you know me, I like jewelry that I can have a little play and a little fiddle with. So I have found while I've been wearing these this morning, I am playing with the tassels a little bit. And I just think they look really quite sweet. So I'm gonna show you how to make one like this and then when you get your kits, you have to go and share your gorgeous makes on the handmade group so I can see what you've done with yours. So in your kits, you're going to be getting three colours of your glass pearl beads, which I think you'll agree are beautiful. You're also going to get three different colours of the Toho seed beads. I've kept them in the pack, so they're probably not showing the colour quite as well as they should do, but you've got like a lovely kind of lilac-y colour, um, like a rose kind of pinkish colour, and a beautiful blue as well. You're also getting three colours of these two millimetre beads, which are your little metallic spaces. So you've got your silver, your rhodium, and your champagne colour as well. And all of your findings are also going to match them. So you've got head pins and eye pins in three different colours, your champagne, your rhodium and your silver. So there's absolutely all sorts in these kits today. So I think I'm going to make one using, hmm, shall I do the rose colourway? the lilac -y colourway. I can't decide. We'll probably have time to play about and make a few different things. I'm going to use these ones. So I'll move that out of the way. And I'm going to need my silver. So I'm taking my head pins and my eye pins. I'm sure you know by now. Oh, Lucy's saying rose. I mean, I can mix them up. Let's try them. I mean, I've put them together this colourway, but you don't have to. You get in every colour in your pack so you can mix them up. I tell you what, I'll add in the pinkishy rose um, pearls and we'll pop them 
with the lilac against the silver. We'll see how that looks. So your eye pin has got this little nail tip finish at the top. And that's what I'm going to use along the sides if I don't want to make it a double connector. So that's going to be kind of the side of my frame. So I'm only going to need two of those for this design. So I'm just going to make sure I've got some lovely straight ones. You can always straighten them out a little bit if you need to with your nylon coated pliers. Just going to put two to the side there for now. And I'm going to start with my eye pins. So your eye pins have got a little loop at the top of them. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop my pliers into the top of that little loop that's already there. And I'm going to make a visual reference or I can mark it with a pen if I wish on my pliers just to note how far down I'm going to need to come on my round nose pliers when I make my loop at the end because I would like them to be roughly the same size. So your round nose pliers are tapered, obviously narrower at the top, wider at the base towards the handles. Wherever you turn that loop, that's going to make your, um, that's going to be the size of what your loop is. So I'm gonna need just a couple of millimeters off the top there. So I'm gonna take, to begin with, um, I'm gonna take five of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a base one, which is gonna have my pearls on and one of the little spaces. And then I'm gonna need four more which I'm going to add my seed beads onto. So really straightforward, have a little play about. Let me find where I've put my scissors and I'm just going to open up my string. And I'm going to add, <clears throat> excuse me, have that tickle in my throat again. I'm going to get four of my gorgeous pearls out and just one of these gorgeous little metallic beads. So I'm gonna pop two onto my eye pin. Then I'm gonna pop my little silver bead in the middle. And then I'm gonna pop another two on. So you really are getting absolutely all sorts in your kit today. And as I say, for £4.50, it's an absolute bargain. So I want to make another loop on the opposite side. So to do that, I'm going to hold down my pearls in place with my fingers to stop them moving up. And I'm just going to turn my pin to make a 90 degree bend. I am going to straighten them up at the end as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave myself about a centimetre. So I'm going to cut off just a tiny bit of my pin. I'm covering it with my hand and just to make sure that the bit that I've cut off doesn't fly away across the room. And I'm going to start turning this pin. So I'm going to find the position where I said on my pliers I thought it needed to be. So only a couple of millimetres maybe down from the top. I'm going to make sure that pin is flush. There's nothing sticking out of the other side of my pliers. And I'm going to start to curl that up until I've closed that loop. And I would say that's pretty much the same size. All I'm going to do now is take two of my pliers and just give that a little turn just to make sure that they are sitting around the same direction so i think they are but give it a little twist there you go so that is my first connector and then in terms of size i want to make my next pins that are going to run up to make our kind of abacus kind of design and i'm going to add about 20 seed beads onto each one and I think that will fill the length so then when I put these running up vertically they'll be around the same length so all I'm going to do 
is spill out a couple of my seed beads onto my mat and I'm going to use these pins a bit like a needle to just pick up 20. That's 10. So I've got 20 of my seed beads there. And then that way they should line up around the same length. Pauline has said, hello, Natalie and everybody. Hello, Pauline, how are you doing? So again, I'm gonna turn the loop the same size on the opposite side to make a double connector. So I'm just gonna give that a little turn into a 90 degree bend. And the reason why I bend this pin is then it should make that loop sit nicely on top. What you do sometimes have to watch is your seed beads can slide up and want to come off that pin. So I usually just hold it in place with my nail. But again, I'm going to cut off just a little bit. So I've got about a centimetre. I'm going to take my round nose pliers. Am I in camera there? I've got that much stuff on my desk again. I don't know if we're going to get much focus today. And I'm just going to start to turn that loop. Little flicks of my wrist. And that's going to make my loop the same size on both ends. I just want to make sure that both ends of those loops are fully turned in because sometimes it can slide up a little bit, but that's looking okay. And I'm gonna repeat that. You can repeat that as many times as you want. I've repeated it four times. So again, I'm gonna pick up my seed beads using my eye pin, like a little needle. That's 10. And that is 20. So I'm looking at what direction my loop is sitting. But if they end up slightly in different directions, I can always just give them a little twist with my pliers. See these seed beads wanting to slide up my pin a little bit. So all I'm gonna do is just knock them back down. That one doesn't want to go. Come on, little seed bead. If I'd have made my angle maybe a little bit sharper. There you go. So all I'm gonna do if it wants to go back into position, is just keep my fingernail or my finger or my thumb rather on the top of that seed bead. Because sometimes you get little naughty ones that want to do their own thing. Going to need to straighten that up a little bit now. So I'm just popping my plier back in. 
just to straighten that up. Need to make sure it is fully closed, otherwise it's gonna keep trying to slide back over. And then if I need to, just gonna bend that back into shape. So that is my second one. Nine, ten. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and that should be twenty. Sometimes I just line them up against each other as well, just to check I've got the same amount. Hello, Carol, how are you doing? So again, giving it a little bend. Hopefully this seed bead is staying where it should do this time. Give it a little trim. start to turn that loop back in. So all I'm doing is giving little flicks of my wrist just to turn that and to straighten that pin up. Is that fully closed? Yes. So I'll always check that this one is closed on the side that's already done. Oh thank you Pauline that's very kind of you. And that way they won't slip off here either. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I've got 20 on this as well. So if you're using a different amount of pearls and spaces and you're playing around with your design, you are going to need to work out how many seed beads that will roughly cover that same distance. Because what we want is we want them to lie flat when we put our pins in either side. Um, so they're not kind of pushed in a little bit. Obviously, when I've changed about with this design, um, I've wanted to create that kind of curved shape at the top. But for this, I want it to fit and sit fairly kind of rectangular shaped. Elaine says, sorry, I'm late. I've been the hairdressers. Good morning, everyone. That's lovely, Elaine. I haven't been the hairdressers in quite some time could do with the pamper. So I hope you're feeling beautiful and glamorous. Okay. So again, checking that last loop is fully closed in. And then I'm going to make sure that both of them are sitting flush to each other. So they're sitting in the same direction. Pop these seed beads away for a little bit. You can see you get you get loads of seed beads. So you're going to be able to do all sorts of different things in terms of design with these pendants. Let's have a little tidy up. Okay, so I'm going to take my pins. So I'm going to put the nail flush down at the bottom. 
and I'm going to pop on my lovely little silver spaces in between. Now, what you can do is you can do this at the same time on each side and then try and stem them up to finish them off. Or it may be easier to just do one side at a time and then thread them on on the opposite side with the other pin. So I will try that just for the purposes of the video and um, might be a little bit more straightforward. So I'm popping on one of my little silver spacers beads, my two millimeter ones, and then I'm popping on my base, which is with my pearls. And then again, little spacer bead, and then my first row of seed beads. And all I'm gonna do as I put them on is just to be particular, I'm gonna make sure that those pins are facing the same way so if they're open they're all facing towards me or the side where they're closed they're facing away from me whichever it doesn't really matter I just think it gives a more smart finish really so each time I add one of my little seed bead rows on I'm just going to pop a little spacer in between and that's going to make sure that they're sitting nice and flush against each other and stop them from crossing over as much okay so i've added all of them on so they're dangling at the moment Good morning to uh, Debbie. She says, morning, everybody. My Pampa is the hygienist today. Pamela says she loves the V design. Really straightforward to do. It's just, I've used the pins going across the top and then pop these down on the other side. So you're just kind of making them with the pearls in the middle here to just open them out a little bit more. Caroline says, you need one of those plastic triangles to clean the beads, so easy with them. I know. I also need a defluffer, <laughs> especially for my necklace stand and bust. Okay, so I've added all of them on and I've added that little metallic seed bead to finish off. And then, not seed bead, the little two millimeter one. And then I'm gonna position them down so they are fairly snug but they've got nice spacing in between them this is why sometimes it's easier to do the other side at the same time but i think if i do they're probably going to slide off all over the place so i'm just going to bend my pin at the top again and then at this point you can start doing this one or you can just finish this one off which is what i'm actually going to do so again i'm going to hold that little metallic bead down with my thumb and my finger just to keep it in place. I'm going to chop off just to leave myself about a centimetre and I'm going to turn my loop on this end now. And it's up to you how you want to position these loops. You can sit them where they are straight at the top or you can do them, where's this one gone? I've kind of had them sitting upright on this, so they're gonna go through those jump rings at the top. So I've just turned that loop, and what I'm gonna do is make sure it is absolutely fully closed, and I'm gonna give it a little straighten up, and then I'm gonna come along and do exactly the same on this side. So again, I've got my eye pin. Judy says, Natalie, what kind of mat are you using on your table? It's just um, like a white cloth, but it's um, quite thick and quite fuzzy. So I can actually stick a needle in it, but this is a wooden table that I work off. Um, and sometimes that makes the camera a little bit um, fuzzy with the grain so it's it's easier to just have a nice blank white canvas for you to be able to to see off okay so i'm adding my silver seed bead um two millimeter bead onto the bottom of that and then i'm popping on my next one and then i'm adding on my metallic bead again 
if you want to you can flip these over the other way so you know you're getting them in the right order when you thread these next ones on another little bead and my next little pin of seed beads I just think these little metallic beads just add a nice little bit of detail but also they make them sit nicely against each other because you've got that equal distance and that equal spacing that they give and then my last little seed bead is going on So I'm just checking that they fit nicely, that my rows are running parallel to each other. And then all I need to do is bend and make that loop on the top again. So I'm going to turn it, I'm going to keep my finger in place to hold down that, that speed. I'm going to give myself about a 90 degree bend on there. I'm going to trim off, leaving myself around a centimetre. I'm going to keep my nail on top of there because this, this bead always wants to slide up. So just while I turn that loop, little twists of my wrist. And there you have it, your little abacus pendant. Obviously these twist round, so they will sit in the same direction. It is really that straightforward. And as I say, there's loads of different designs that you can make. You're gonna have three different colors of the seed beads, of your findings and your metallic beads, and also your gorgeous pearls as well for just £4.50. So make yourself a pendant and then maybe instead of using the head pins, you could use eye pins on these parts as well and make them double connectors. And you could, you know, attach that and make a focal piece on a bracelet if you wanted, change up your design a little bit. Um, you can, if you do use double connectors on this point, you can maybe add another row of your pearls if you like, like I've done here, and you can add some little tassels and dangly bits onto the bottom. The possibilities are absolutely endless. So what I would say is play around with your pins, play around with your pearls and you see beads. I think I've still used 20 on these. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, I have. So all I've done on this one is I've used the three pearls with those lovely little metallic beads in between. I've done two rows of them. I'm using a double connector on the bottom, but obviously smaller, cut down in shorter length than I am at the top. Spacing them out exactly the same with, um, I have noticed I've missed a little silver bead there, haven't I? Ah. So you look at something numerous times and you don't notice. And then as soon as I go on a live, I think, look what I've missed. So what I would do is I would add an extra little silver bead there and that will keep them a little bit better aligned and in position as well. But you can do all sorts with that. Good morning, Mandy. How are you doing, my love? So really straightforward and really sweet, I think, to make. All I'd be doing then is here, I've just added them directly onto the chain, but if you wanted to, you could add some jump rings onto that as well. So they are your lovely little abacus pendants. So really, really quick make for you today. Um, as I say, I'm really looking forward to seeing the designs that you come up with. You can mix these colors. So don't feel like you you know have to stick to, to my colorway. What I had done originally 
on the rhodium was use these beautiful blue seed beads the bluish colored pearls and i think they look really gorgeous against the rhodium findings for the pinky colored tones i used the champagne and i thought they look gorgeous together and then with the kind of lilac toho seed bead size 11 that you're getting i added in the kind of whitishy colored pearls and I added them with the silver and I thought that looked nice and bright together but have a little play around you know like I've done here I've added the lilac with the pink because Miss Lucy wanted the pink um so you can play about with all sorts of different colors you can mix up your seed beads as I say you're getting all of this in your kit so you can do they look lovely actually against the silver you can do whatever you like with these so thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I am going to be back with you on Monday. Um, we're going to be making um, a lovely bracelet on Monday. It's really straightforward to do, a little elastic one. Um, do you want a sneaky peek? Should I give you a sneaky peek? I can't decide whether I give you a sneaky peek or not. So we're going to be using gorgeous cat's eye um, beads. They have got some beautiful different shapes in them. When I seen them originally at the warehouse, they were strung together in this design. And I just picked them up and thought, I wouldn't need to add anything to that. Nicole saying sneak peek. There you go. <laughs> She'll pop you back down. So I thought I wouldn't really need to add anything to that. I just love the colors of these. So I've called this Harlequin. Um, and actually, I come up with this design. I don't know how many months ago I was last down at the warehouse. It was quite some time ago. So i seen this. I thought I'm definitely putting this together and we'll have that as um, a project in numerous months to come. I'll do this one just before I'm due to go back down again. And I actually think, I think it was Ollie Omni on the um, Handmade Group who also made one pretty much the same and I was like oh great minds so Lucy says she loves that nice colors really straightforward to do it is just stringing onto the elastic but they're like sweets they're just so beautiful um so please join me on Monday for that um it's going to be a really quick make it's going to be a really nice make and then I am back down at the warehouse next week so Kitty and myself will be very, very busy, very, very giddy because I've not seen her for ages in the flesh. I'm really looking forward to seeing her and we'll be very busy putting lots of ideas together. If you have any projects that you would like to do, so it could be um, a particular technique that you're looking forward to. It could be a particular colorway. It could be using a different um, type of product or materials. You might want something with glass pearls. You might want something with gemstones, whatever it is. Do give us a little message or even comment in the handmade group. Maybe we could set up a little poll. And when I go down next week, we will definitely take that into consideration because we want to make you happy. We want to make sure you're making what you want to make. Um, so yeah, do come and join um, in on the suggestions for that. So Lucy says, um, Oh, love that. Nice and colourful. It's really just sweet and summery, isn't it? And really comfortable as well because they sit lovely and flat against your wrist. Um, Pamela agrees. She says very pretty and summery. Um, Judith says very nice pendant. Happy anniversary, Natalie and husband. Thank you very much. I will pass on your best wishes to him, Judith, as well. Um, Pauline says it looks great. Lucy says, how is it Friday already? I don't know. I think it's obviously because we had a bit of a shorter week, maybe, with the bank holiday. Um, I don't know, but I'm very excited that it is Friday already, so I don't mind. Um, and Diane says, uh, love cat's eye beads. They're beautiful. They've just got such a lovely variety of colour and the way they catch the light is lovely. Um, so have a fabulous weekend, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will be back with you on Monday. I hope you tune in too. Um, don't forget to give the video a like and a thumbs up. Um, it, 
it boosts the algorithm apparently so if you share this um, other people can see and can also um, join in with our lovely creative makes and tutorials um, I will definitely enjoy myself Caroline thank you very much and thank you Lucy and um, thank you for spending time with us this morning as well Lucy has said, stay blessed everyone and have a nice weekend. And I echo that as well. So lots of love and light to you. Take care. See you next week.